Rat Rolls. No. Are you an aspiring Jedi? Or do you dabble with the dark side of the Force? Regardless of whether you fancy yourself a Defender of the Light or an aspiring Sith Lord, you're going to need a lightsaber. Podcast Stardust is pleased to partner with Saber Masters, the creators of high-quality, durable, and affordable lightsabers. Saber Masters is preparing to launch the Ultimate Lightsaber 2.0, and right now you can get two for the price of one. So, check out the link in our show notes and go get your Ultimate Lightsabers from Saber Masters. And don't forget to use our referral code STARDUST to save $10 at checkout. And each purchase using our referral code helps support Podcast Stardust. This is John Jackson Miller, author of Star Wars Kenobi, Star Wars A New Dawn, Star Wars Lost Tribe of the Sith, Star Wars Knight Errant, and the upcoming Star Wars The Living Force. And you're listening to Podcast Stardust with Dennis and Jay. May the Force be with you. Hello there, Star Wars fans. I'm Jay Krebs. And I'm Dennis Keithley. And this is another fully armed and operational edition of Podcast Stardust, the galaxy's source for Star Wars news, reviews, and discussion. But before we get started, Dennis, would you please tell everybody where our listeners can find us on social media? All right. We are on social media on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Podcast Stardust. Excellent. So today on Podcast Stardust, episode 783, we are bringing you our special monthly feature called World Between Worlds, a mystical dimension that connects Star Wars fashion and lifestyle products to your space and time. The goal is to bring you a wide variety of ideas for products to surround you, outfit you, and bind your style sense together, kind of like the Force. So this month, I've rounded up such a great array of stuff. You won't be able to repel fashion power of this magnitude. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> Not a trap. But first, Dennis and I always do a rundown of any new Star Wars gets or any updates to some current products that we've pre- previously snagged. So Dennis, I know you said you didn't get anything new. We were kind of chatting a little bit before we recorded. But have you cooked anything from your cookbook that you were talking about last month? No, um, this month has been crazy. I mean, I know you said some reasons I don't want to get into it here on the podcast. Yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> some health issues and some other things that came up. So I just haven't had an opportunity to do a whole lot of other things. So uh, uh, no, I haven't gotten to that yet. It's still on my to-do list. And uh, I've been, uh, I've actually got that cookbook sitting on my bedside table. And I've been on some very long phone calls and I've been, flipping through it and uh some things have caught my eye so uh, i'll have to get on that and try some of them out and let y'all know all right well we'll be watching your cooking crew with great interest as right. the team would say <laughs> nice. awesome all right well i did get a couple of things this month so i was actually gifted a hello snips crafted metal fandom sign from Ashley over at Fangirling Over Jesus Shop. And if you've been listening to the show for any length of time and you've been listening to World Between Worlds, um, you know that I am good friends with Ashley Cox, owner of Fangirling Over Jesus. She's been on the show. She did an interview with us. Um, and Ashley's just got some all around great stuff. And one of the things about having your own shop like this is that just whenever you get something in your brain pan, you can just create it, which is so amazing. So I, I definitely count on a lot of my standby small businesses for that. So I did an unboxing video on my Instagram recently on this, but it's just a heck of a lot of fun. It's a very thin, like metal tin kind of not really tin. It's, it, that's, it's, it's heavier than that, but it is a, a sign that you can put on your wall, on your door. Um, and it's basically a circle that says hello and snips basically at like four o'clock and 10 o'clock on the clock if you're looking at it that way. So it's Ahsoka's head, face, and headdress from seasons one through five of the Clone Wars as an outline or silhouette, if you will, with that circular border. So those words hello and snips are on there mm-hmm. in the traditional kind of like Star Wars font kind of thing. 
And um, there are five colors of this available, black, white, silver, copper, and red, and also three sizes available. So in diameter, there's a 12 inch size, a 14 inch, or an 18 inch. And Ashley gave me my choice of what size and what color. And I chose the 12 inch white because of where I'm eventually going to mount it, which is actually on the door entering my cosplay room at home. I figured that would be perfect because, you know, I am Snips, Jay Snips. So mm -hmm. hello, Snips, as you walk into my cosplay room, I thought would be perfect. So, um, so yeah, if you want to check out exactly what it, what it looks like and, you know, how it was shipped to me and a little bit of more of that background, you can check out that unboxing video that I did on my cosplay Instagram, which is at j.snips cosplay. So I have since actually hang to hang it up. Um, I've been trying to get ready to go to Fan Expo Cleveland here this coming weekend. So I'm actually working on some of my own merch right now that I will be revealing very soon. But uh, my plan is to use one of those uh, like command strip kind of hook things to put on it because I have uh, knotty alder wood for my doors. So I definitely don't want to be drilling anything into that. But I yeah. figure if I put a little bit of, you know, like binder twine or something like that, I can hang it from that and even maybe even put it onto a nice little like greenery wreath from Hobby Lobby as a background and then stick it on there. I think that would be really cute. Very festive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is really cool. I like it quite a bit. Now you had a great unboxing video for it. Um, the, it that I saw for the first time and confused me because I felt like we talked about this before, but no, it was your <laughs> unboxing video. Uh, we were talking about that before we recorded. Uh, a few things I noticed, like you mentioned the the font, which is really cool. And to give everyone a, uh, an idea of the size of this, the hello is on the left side and runs from about nine o'clock to 11 o'clock. And mm -hmm. it's not small in the text. It's, it's the perfect size. It's very proportional. Snips runs from about three to four thirty or so on the right side. Uh, no, probably closer to five uh, on that. It looks fantastic. I also like that they left the primary facial features, the eyes, the nose and the mouth out of mm -hmm. this silhouette here. And uh, it just looks really classy. I love the image that you've got in our notes. If you're holding it up in front of your face, it's like you framed <laughs> yourself perfectly with that. But uh, yeah, good job uh, by her. This is a, a really nice piece. Yeah. And the other colors too are just, they're, they're so cozy. I mean, they're, they're mm -hmm. pictured on, you know, the outside entrance to a house and on a living room and a kitchen. I mean, you can literally bring snips wherever you go. So once again, that is at fangirling over Jesus shop on Etsy and the show links will be, or I'm sorry, the links to these will be in our show notes. There we go. So I'm really excited. So I'm going to be putting some pictures on my Instagram once I do get it hung up to show where it ended up living. So that way everybody can see the, the end result of that as well. So one other thing that I actually ended up getting was from another of my favorite small business shops, and it is from a fan of shop. And this is owned by Tiff. And so Tiff has actually just celebrated her four year anniversary of her shop online. So she started back in 2020, you know, when things were very uncertain. So got to give kudos to her for, you know, being able to, to make it through, through all of that. But she's another one that just gets something in her brain pan and runs with it. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit about some of the other things that I I've gotten from Tiff in the past, but um, I'm just really excited for this new get that I just received, which is a chopper sparkle tee. And so this is on a gray comfort colors t-shirt, which as soon as some people hear comfort colors, they know that's from Hobby Lobby. So that's mm. just the, <laughs> that's the heavier t-shirt that, um, that they sell there, which that's what I'm going to be putting some of my signature merch on too here. As soon as I, I get that ready to go. But I love this. It is a full color rhinestone chopper, kind of cartoony ish in all of his glory as his little murder droid. And it is a 14 inch rhinestone design on the front of this t-shirt. And it is absolutely fabulous. So Tiff was doing a limited drop of these and there were only 40 available. And so a few weeks ago, she had this 
drop that became available at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So if you got onto her website and you ordered it then, you could be one of the 40 that were guaranteed to get it. So it was funny because my husband and I were actually out at Applebee's and we were getting our half price appetizers before six o'clock because, you know, <laughs> we're old now and we do the early bird specials. So we're sitting there, you know, getting ready to eat our appetizers. I'm like, I got to get this t-shirt ordered. I got to get this t-shirt ordered. So I did and I got it and it's absolutely beautiful. So I cannot wear, wait to wear this. This. Um, Tiff does have some other designs available that she's doing in the sparkle tees. And one of them is Maul, and as in Darth Maul. And so she does this one design of Maul in a lot of her different products that's kind of a chibi design. And um, so that's the design that she used for this particular sparkle tea. And then I suspect that she's probably going to be having more as well. So she has these little exclusive drops every once in a while. And she has these, you know, fun little things that you can snag from time to time. Um, her shop is just reopening again. She was on vacation for a little while. So it's, it's as of this recording, it's getting ready to open back up again. But she's got so many things to pick from. I mean, some of my favorites from the past. I mean, when I first found Tiff was back in 2020 when she just started out and I have a snips wristlet. It's like a lanyard, but it's like a mini wristlet kind of a lanyard that still hangs from my purse. And I actually got a couple of them that Tiff was kind enough to gift to me. And then I ended up sending one to Vanessa Marshall and then another one to Lauren Mary Kim when she was on our show. So mm. it was kind of like a little thank you sort of a thing. So those are out there in the wild. And then I also have this um, kind of antique brass, like hammered brass colored Morai necklace. That's a really long necklace that I absolutely love. And then I have my Dex's diner coffee mug. I have a Hauser embroidered t-shirt. I have so many things from Tiff. And so you, you just have to check out a fan of shop because you just never know what you're going to find. And I can't wait to wear this Hera shirt or my, this chopper shirt with my Hera jacket. So yeah, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, be a good pairing. Yeah. So one, I, I'm not sure if you really qualify for the senior citizen treatment until you're <laughs> at the buffet at 4 30. Um, but uh or the cafeteria, I should say. Two, the uh the shirt with Chopper on it that the that looked familiar the way that Chopper did. And the only reason I think that is because it kind of reminds me of the Funko Pop style. Uh ah, okay. the way that Chopper looks there. I don't have a Chopper Funko, but I do have an R2D2 Funko and uh it's a similar, similar style with that. But not the exact same thing, just to give people an idea of what that looks like there. So no, but those are fantastic. Uh, it looks really, looks really good. Yeah. I, like I said, I just can't wait to, to wear it. So, so there you go. So now on to some new stuff. So I recently had to get a replacement phone. And so of course now I get all of these Instagram sponsored ads for phone accessories. And I just happened to, to find this company called Wolf Case. And these are uh, Star Wars cases. They have all kinds of different cases, but wolf cases, as you can imagine, their little logo is like a wolf paw. And mm -hmm. so they have, um, you know, tons of different fandoms that they do. But as far as the, the Star Wars ones go, of course, they always have more iPhone stuff than anything else. I, I have iPhone envy when it comes to phone <laughs> cases because they hardly ever have anything pixel. But they do have a, a nice little array of um, different types of phone cases for Star Wars stuff. So there's a Star Wars Squadron and they have like a gold or a black um, like Stormtrooper type thing. And then they have some silhouettes that have Darth Vader and a Stormtrooper. And then, of course, um, with the passing of James Earl Jones, there's all kinds of Darth Vader stuff that's out there right now. And so there's one that's called Helmet Heroes for iPhone and that's Darth Vader as well. Um, there's a really cool uh, cartoony one that almost looks a little bit more manga or anime, but I'm, I think that this is directly from the comic books, if I'm not mistaken, because the yeah. one was, I believe, just the, the, uh, the series that we were just talking about on the news. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So John Cassidy did that, uh, or that's the cover for the uh, work that John Cassidy did. I don't know if he actually did that cover. I'd have to pull it out and find out. But yeah, that's the issue of Star Wars number one from 2015. And then the one on the left that you're referring to uh, in that image, that is Princess Leia. And we just covered that comic on the show. I wondered uh, if that was from that comic. Yeah, last Wednesday. In fact, I'm opening the uh, trade paperback of that. 
And when you get to the, you know, the, you, the first page is the princess Leia splash title. And then you, the next very next page is that exact image of Leia. Oh, wow. Uh, with star Wars. And that art was done by uh, uh, Terry and Rachel Dodson. Uh, there. Okay. So yeah, that uh, I was like, wait a minute. We just, <laughs> we just looked at that. Yeah. That is so ironic. I would love to have that Leia one quite honestly, but alas, it is not available in the pixel. Uh, Grr, I know. <laughs> so the only ones that are actually available for pixel um, are the lightsaber Vader one. And then there's also a Boba Fett one, which I could definitely not like in my good sense, take anywhere with me and in public because of what I do for a living. And there's also a Darth Vader one. That's very much like that as well. Having a certain hand gesture. Let's just put it that way. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So that was kind of, I was like, Oh, this is cool. Oh wait, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but that's out there for anyone that is, uh, you know, interested in that. And then they also do have some Samsung styles as well. So if you're, like I said, if you're in the market for any of those, so you can go check that out at wolfcase.com. But they do um, advertise that they are shock and drop proof. So they say effectively absorbs shocks, ensuring your iPhone or other phone remains safeguarded against drops and impacts. They are lightweight that offer ma maximum protection without the weight. And they are water resistant and safeguarding your phones from life's unexpected splashes and spills. So again, if you're in the in the uh, mood or in the market for a new phone case, you can check out wolfcase.com. And then yeah. next on our list, were you going to say something else? I'm sorry. No, I just say those are very cool. Uh, those are, I, I love the art on them. They did a great job with those. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to have that layout one, like mm -hmm. I said, but alas, oh, oh well. All right. So next up we have, we're going to travel over to, <laughs> to Heroes and Villains and Heroes and Villains is another store that we've, or shop online that we've talked about quite a bit here on World Between Worlds, AKA Podcast Stardust. And um, they have something brand new. So they have a bunch of new luggage carry-ons and these are super cool. They're a little on the expensive side. I'm not going to lie. So they are $225 each, but they are the hard case carry-ons that you often see, you know, people taking around the, the airports and stuff like that. So they have uh, smooth 360 degree spinner wheels and they are TSA approved. So they are, are perfect for that carry-on type thing. And then they also have a telescopic trolley handle, top and side exterior slow release handles, rubber bumpers, an internal mesh zip compartment, a removable compression panel with three zip pockets and a toiletry hook. Um, and then the graphics on them are printed distressed graphics with a molded metal badge on the front and a metal etched plaque in the back. So there are several models of these actually available. There's three. There's a silver imperial carry-on suitcase that has, and each of these has kind of like the half half symbol. So you've got the imperial cog with this one, and it's silver and black, and it's got some Orabash and some other designs on it. And then there's an orange rebel carry-on suitcase with the rebel symbol, once again, kind of a half half moon, if you will. And that's more of a copper color, I would say, than orange, but it definitely gives off, you know, those those X-Wing kind of vibes. And then there's a teal Jedi carry-on suitcase with the Republic Jedi symbol. Once again, kind of in half, and it's got the Orabesh that says Jedi. Um, and then all of these are $225. So they're currently actually on pre-order. So they will be shipping on or around October 10th. So they are coming up right around the corner. And then there's also a packing cube five piece set, which is nicely priced. Actually, this one's only $60. So with the packing cube, you get, as you, as I just mentioned, five different pieces with it. And so they have a uh, different kind of compression cubes and they have an Orabesh uh, nylon body material is what they call it. And so you can do things like your, your, uh, shoes in these and then, you know, different types of, of apparel. And then it's got a smaller container for things like socks and then um, other types of toiletries and whatnot. And then they all fit together in this nice big uh, mesh cube that has a, a nice little handle on the top of it. So all the dimensions are on their website for specifically for each one of the cubes. 
but um but this is actually a really nice little set and there are actually wheels that are included on this as well and um yeah so they also have a warranty and return policy if you're not happy with it but this is actually a really nice looking set for sixty dollars and again this is on pre-order as well and the expected shipping date is on october 10th so what do you think of these guys yeah those are those are nice they're really cool i have to admit I had to kind of zoom in on the packing cues to figure out what made them Star Wars. And it looks like it's mainly an Arbesh tag on one of them. Uh, but they're still nice looking packing cubes there. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I, I, I like the carry-ons there. Uh, but yeah, that price is, oof, that's up there. You're right. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah. And the packing cubes also have some um, like Star wars -y designs on the inside too. So okay. if you, yeah. yeah, so there's some some star wars nods to that as well but uh but yeah if anybody's doing any traveling and you need you need a nice uh <clears throat> new carry-on or uh you know something to pack your stuff in that's definitely the way to go so once again that is at heroes and villains all right so the next thing on the list is a company called happy socks and of course dennis i thought of you when i found mm -hmm. this one because Anybody that's listened to us knows you love you some Star Wars socks. So, yes. <laughs> and uh, Happy Socks has actually released a whole new line of some special edition Star Wars socks. So if you head over to happysocks.com, you'll see a wide variety of new types of socks. So they have uh, basically more like cartoony styles than they would, you know, anything that's coming off of like a realistic type yeah. of an image or a poster kind of a thing. So there's the R2-D2 and C-3PO sock. There's a Darth Vader sock that's got some blue and red and orange flames coming up and around uh, the toe part of it in the, in the, uh, the base of the sock. And then there's some fun Chewbacca socks that the entire uh, foot of the sock is Chewbacca's body, essentially. And then it kind of goes up into his head and there's some aqua in there. And then there's the Star Wars logo sock with some cartoony looking galaxy colors that almost reminds me of like the Lucky Charms uh, logo in some ways <laughs> with their rainbows. Um, and then there's a Stormtrooper sock and those are a little bit more, I would say, tech, techno because they mm -hmm. have sort of that like 3D sort of glitchy look to them. Um, and then there's a Star Wars Yoda sock, same way. That one's actually on like a lime green background. Um, and then there's also some kids socks as well. So there's a Millennium Falcon kids sock that's on a red background. And again, it, it's got very much those Lucky Charms vibes and some black Star Wars socks with a star field and, and the logo in various colors. And then there's also a Stormtrooper Trooper sock in lime yellow, a Chewbacca kids sock. So the list goes on and on. So you'll have to just check them out. But there are two gift sets available. So there is a six pack gift set. So if you're starting to think about the holidays and you're one of those people that, you know, gets on these things a little soon, this one actually comes in a stormtrooper type box. So it's it's not a square box though. It's kind of indicative of the stormtrooper head. So it's a a nice little what is that hexagon kind of a thing but inside you actually get six different socks um, that come in that and a lot of those are the ones that i had just mentioned so you can check that out and then there is also a three pack sock collection as well and this one features r2 and 3po once again in that fun little cartoony kind of a of a gig and so this one is once again got the three different socks in it as well. And these are more focused on the the R2 3PO, the Star Wars logo, and the Yoda socks. So again, you just have to check those out. There is a size guide available on the website as well. A um, little, little pricey, I will say. You know, the the gift set for the three pack is fifty four dollars. And then for the six pack, we were looking at one hundred and eight dollars. So um, when you're looking at you know, socks in general, I mean, six socks, pairs of socks for $108. I'm not sure, you know, if that's something that uh, most people want to spend that money on. But if it's a good quality sock, as you know, Dennis, <laughs> it is definitely worth it. So they do use 86% um, cotton, 12% polyamide, and 2% elastine in all of their socks. And they do brag about their sustainability. So they have a an ethical way of making their socks, they say, lowering emission 
and so on and so forth. So what do you think of these? Are, are there any of these that uh, kind of trip your fancy or not really? Well, the lime green ones are right out. Um, that's just not my color. So uh, no to those. Um, scrolling through these, if I were to pick up a pair, I would get the Darth Vader ones that don't have the flames coming up from the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just too much for, for my taste. Yeah, I mean, most of the Star Wars socks that I have are either from Stance or Rock'em. And they fall on one end of the spectrum or the other, which is, it is a fairly realistic reproduction of an image of the character or mm -hmm. it's more of a star wars design without necessarily being a character it's a bit more subtle and you wouldn't necessarily notice it was star wars these are very much more in your face as oh, uh, yeah. star wars and like you said it's it's much more of a a fun cartoon design than anything so um yeah to your point on the price you're not saving anything by buying the gift pack sets um mm -hmm it's the same $18 per pair of socks. So what you're really just getting is the gift box uh, thrown right. in there on top of that. So um, yeah, I mean, they aren't bad uh, just compared to some of the other socks we've talked about in the past. Uh, they, they fall farther down the list. Yeah. And they're just, they're that whimsical, you know, mm -hmm. kind of a, kind of a pattern sort of a thing. So if you're into, like you said, the in your face stardom or fandom, I should say kind of star Wars stuff, then these are definitely in line with that. That's for sure. So once again, that is happysocks.com. All right. And then next on the list is a brand new company that I found. It's called Pershoadex. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's spelled P-U-R-S-H-O-A-D-E-X. And my notes kept trying to, to autocorrect it to purchased, mm -hmm. but anyway, it's per show index. And so um, this one's got a lot of really fun things and they have on their star Wars page, they have everything from some short sleeved Hawaiian shirt type things in various styles. And there's some really cool ones. There's one that actually reminds me of a bowling shirt. Um, they call it a men's vintage short sleeved shirt. And it's got, those stripes vertically down one side. So it's a button up shirt. And then it's got Boba Fett, Darth Vader and a stormtrooper kind of silhouetted on the other side. So it, it just screams bowling shirt to me for some reason. Um, and then there's some others that are inspired by some samurai and Japanese art. And then there's even one that, um, kind of reminds me a lot of the the old camel cigarettes <laughs> package it says imperial walkers mm -hmm. and so that's kind of an interesting take on that one um, and then they also have some long sleeve styles as well and some of these have some of the more whimsical kind of things like darth vader sitting in the meadow sipping some tea with his little pinky up um, you know, and those kinds of things. I do like there's a retro robot short sleeved shirt that is a stormtrooper. And it kind of almost looks like it was just splattered onto this aqua like dark teal background. And there's just something about that one that's that's I think is just really, really cool. So um, so all of those types of shirts, they run anywhere from uh, 25, 24 99 and up especially for the, the long sleeve shirts. Um, those aren't actually too much more. They're at $28.99, which is, like I said, it's just a lot of fun if you're looking for something completely different. And there's even some holiday styles. So once again, if you're thinking a little bit ahead to the holidays and you want something a little off the beaten path from your typical ugly sweater, you can definitely get either a short sleeved or a long sleeve shirt with some fun uh, Christmassy, you know, holiday kind of designs, even one with Darth Vader wearing a Santa hat. So that's kind of fun. But what really drew me in was that they have these new fleece vintage Western zip stand collar sweatshirts, which is quite a mouthful, I know. And these are uh, on sale right now for $42.99. But these are really cool because they are made from a sweatshirt material and they have that, that little, you know, quarter zip in the front and that's really popular right now. But what really stands out to me about this is the fact that it has a fleece lined collar and then it has these leather embellishments on the shoulders and at the elbows. So like elbow patches that are quilted. And then they have a couple of different designs on them as well. So one of them is sort of an ash gray, almost tie dye, like smoky look. And then it has half um, Jedi symbol in a maroon color. And then the other half is the Imperial cog in black. And it's just, it's 
super cool. And I'm just, I'm in love with these. I think they're su super, super cool. And so again, on the Peshoa, Peshoa Dex website, um, that's how they're labeled as the men's fleece vintage Western zip stand collar sweatshirt. And they have a couple different styles available. So there was that one. Um, and then there was also a second one, uh, that was star Wars stuff as well. And it was, it's me, actually, there's a few of them. The one that it kind of reminds me of like Carhartt's is the best way that I can explain the color. And then it has that quarter zip and this quarter zip is actually lined in a black kind of trim also has the fleece lining around the collar. And then this one has the Imperial cog and the Jedi symbol, both in black, but they're cut in half diagonally, which is really cool. So this one doesn't have the, the leather on the shoulders and on the, uh, the elbows, but it's, it's definitely pretty cool. Uh, so there's that one. And then there's another one that actually has Chewbacca on it as well. And there's one that has the mud horn. Um, and then there's also one that has, once again, the Imperial cog and the Jedi symbol kind of, kind of morphed together, if you will, they look like coffee stains. And so the coffee stain look drew me in as well. And this one has suede instead of leather at the shoulders and on the elbows. And it also has more of like a suede lining on the neck instead of that fleece. So again, just a lot of really cool styles. There's some block print sweatshirts as well. Um, there's one in particular that's called the men's vintage color block print sweatshirt that has kind of this, um, gosh, I don't even know how to explain it. It almost looks like tie dye, but not, it's more almost like a tiger print on the sleeves. And then it's a kind of a, a sand color on the sweatshirt itself. And once again, it has that half imperial half Jedi uh, symbol. And it also has some leather at the shoulders, but this one has a hood. So it's like a hoodie. And that one's actually available in three different colors. So there's that sand color. There's a black with um, some other types of like lighter cream color and uh, gold designs, not like metallic gold, but the color gold designs. And then there's also one that's blue that is like a denim blue that has some of those embellishments as well. So um, really a lot of good looking stuff. And these are all $26.99 for the hooded sweatshirts. And then, as I mentioned for the, the other sweatshirts, those are like $25.99 and up. So, um, I was really impressed with those. And then not to be outdone, there's also some cargo pants that they have as well on their website that kind of go with it to complete the look. And so the cargo pants are, you know, really awesome. They, they call them multifunctional Western cargo outdoor pants. And these are $59.99. So as you can probably guess, the, the cargo look um, basically looks like, you know, your, your army sort of a look. And they have the mud horn on the one of them, which is kind of a, uh, like a real stylized sort of a, of a look. And it's not the the typical mud horn that that we've seen before, you know, typically from the Mandalorian. But uh, but again, I mean, you pair those two together, and I just think that's a really really cool look. So, what do you think of these? I'm impressed with the diversity of stuff that's available on this website. You know, all the way from Hawaiian shirts on the one end to this like Western wear on the other, and then they even, as I was scrolling through the website, noticed that they had some. Uh, I don't want to say call it formal wear, but they have these like very fashionable outdoor jackets that fall into either one of those categories as well. But uh, I'm impressed with the the clothes. the The cargo pants just have a logo on a place I don't want a logo, so that's just kind of out for me. But I can see these being very very popular um, mm -hmm. that with people. Those are they're pretty cool, uh, and the sweatshirts and hoodies are all uh, pretty cool too. I'm not a Hawaiian shirt guy, so but <laughs> if I were going to do a Hawaiian shirt, this would be a place I'd definitely look. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I agree. And they really do have a huge variety. So it's not just fandom stuff. Mm -hmm. And realistically, I mean, Star Wars is about the only true quote unquote fandom that I saw represented in here. And maybe I just wasn't looking enough. But there's so many different styles available that, you know, even from like, hunting looks to, you know, as you said, more of a, almost like a dressy look as well. So, um, so yeah, so they have short sleeve shirts, wide shirts, and they do have a for her section as well. So there are ladies styles of these Hawaiian shirts as well. So more of a ladies cut kind of a thing. Um, and then they also have these kind of um, almost like tunicky 
sort of looking linen shirts. And um, there weren't any that I saw that were Star Wars, but they're, they look very roomy and, and very fun. So, you know, the ladies are definitely out, not outdone. And if you do put together a Star Wars bowling team, once again, they do have the women's cut in that as well. So you could be styling and profiling in your, <laughs> your Pershoa decks shirts out there on the lanes. That's for sure. Strikes galore. <laughs> All right. So moving on, um, we also have a couple, a couple more things. So igloo coolers, you know, is a standby for most people when it comes to picnicking and, you know, just keeping their lunches cool on the way to and from work or, you know, out to the ball games or camping or whatever. So igloo actually has two new Star Wars items out right now. And their Star Wars coolers include the Jabba the Hutt Palace Little Playmate. And so this one is, you know, your, your, your basic little playmate that I think probably a lot of people, if not most people are, are familiar with. And, um, this one features the, some of the scenes from Jabba's palace in Return of the Jedi. And so those are on like a skin on the top and the sides where you push the button, you know, to open the igloo cooler. So you've got size noodles and Max Rebo and then you've got, uh, of course, Jabba sitting on his dais. And, and then you've got a Gamorrean guard facing Jabba that, you know, may or may not be in trouble. And then Salacious Crumb at his side, um, you know, and the like. And then you've also got C-3PO and R2-D2, I think, facing off with uh, EV-99 there on the one side. And so that's a lot of fun. And so that one is right now on sale for $44.99. And then they also have available right now the Jabba the Hutt Palace 16 ounce can. So the 16 ounce can is more like a cantina. And uh, so I'll just read this. It's kind of fun. It says, imagine going beyond the dune sea of Tatooine with a chilled refreshment in this vacuum insulated stainless steel 16 ounce can. Our special edition Star Wars inspired drinkware has a green exterior and features Ralph McQuarrie's incredible concept art for Star Wars Return of the Jedi, showcasing the notable scene in which the iconic Luke Skywalker bargains with Jabba the Hutt for the release of Han Solo all taking place within the depths of the crime lord's palace throne room so it's very cool i, I really like this one and um, some of the different features that go with along with this one it's of course a reusable can it has advanced hot and cold temperature re retention a threaded lid that provides a tight seal and easy to screw on and remove a mouth opening slider tab that smoothly clicks into place for security and it is made with 304 food grade stainless steel. Um, and it does hold those 16 ounces of cold or hot liquid for staying hydrated throughout your day. And it has a built-in cold coaster with it as well, which is actually cool. Um, so yeah, so these are both really, really awesome, I think, as a uh, in addition to the Igloo line. And the can is on sale right now for $19.99. So either one of those something that you would potentially pick up yeah i really like the can that's really cool um if i needed a cooler i would consider uh that one as well uh neat neat design but at this time of year i don't really need one but uh this uh but i like those i like the uh use of the, the macquarie artwork for that oh yeah anytime we can get ralph macquarie's work on anything it's like sign me up right mm -hmm. <laughs> that definitely would have been nice you know for the anniversary of return of the jedi but uh a little slow on that. Maybe next year they'll have the Phantom Menace. Who knows? Yeah, they're a little, little behind, but that's okay. We still love it regardless. Thank you, Igloo Coolers, for that. And then another new company that I found this time around is called Phase Line Co. or Phase Line Company. And this one is a veteran-owned, drawn, and printed design company. Uh, it has definitely a military feel to it. And they carry t-shirts, sweatshirts, tumblers, wall tapestries and art stickers and patches so i went to their about page and so this is from their founder and operator z and he says our mission is to provide our customers with unique and meaningful products that they can be proud to wear whether you're a fellow veteran a military supporter or simply someone who appreciates art our hand-drawn t-shirts are sure to resonate with you and so all of the t-shirts are printed on what they call next level 6210 poly cotton blend, which in the business is a t-shirt blank that is considered to be like one of the, the top at the, you know, standards and quality for washability and durability 
feel, you know, texture, that kind of thing. Cause I, I looked that up to see, you know, what is so special about this 6210, you know, I'm thinking like a clone number over here. <laughs> and then they're what they call their coyote shirts are printed on this Rothko 5050, which once again is, is kind of at the top of the line for some of those types of textiles. Everything is pre-shrunk and athletic fitting, and they do run true to size, but if you prefer a looser fit, they encourage you to buy up a size. And uh, there is a size guide on their website and their collection is actually called May 4th. So I'm assuming that they probably couldn't call it Star Wars because it's not officially licensed. Uh -huh. So these are things that, yeah, that are, are interpreted by the artist to recreate something about Star Wars. And again, they're very military uh, kind of inspired. And so like, for example, you have Sev, there's a Commando T. Um, and it's got some Orabash and things and, and some army gray. And then there's um, some things with Rex on them, some of the other commandos, some Boba Fett stuff. Um, there's even one, of course, you know, we were just talking about this with the Clone Wars and how the clones sometimes use the, the pinup girl kind of look mm -hmm. for some of their, their, um, their ships and things. And there's one that has Leia in that pinup style that says daddy issues underneath it. So there's that one. Um, but then there's so many other ones to choose from. There's some sweatshirts that are in various colors, including some camo. Um, there's some things that say like born to raid and it's got some different takes on some really interesting looking Mandalorians, which I think is super cool that they call like Raider tees and um, Mando tee, T-E-E -E as in t-shirt, Scout tee. Uh, there's a, again, for Captain Rex, there's a Captain hoodie, a Commando hoodie. And then they also have tumblers. So if you're interested in the tumblers that do actually fit into the cup holders in most vehicles, that's the kind that you're going to be looking at here. And then and then they also have uh, two different sizes, actually, of tumblers. So they have the, um, the larger size, the 30-ounce size, and then the smaller size and the 20-ounce size as well. But then there's also stickers that represent all of these different pieces of artwork. There's patches. Like I said, there's wall art. So I kind of know a couple people that I think would really appreciate some of these. <laughs> and I am like thinking, hmm, okay, once again, looking forward to the holidays that I might be snagging some of these, quite honestly, because they're just, I, I just love it when artists interpret things. Mm -hmm. And as much as I love the licensed stuff, I just love the original art and the original take that some of these actually, you know, came up with. So um, did you get a chance to look at any of them? And if so, what did you think? Yeah, I've been scrolling these. I do think it's cool when artists do things like they mash up Star Wars with some sort of periodic um, historical era, you know, whether it's samurai or in this case, you know, kind of modern warfare mm -hmm. type imagery and stuff like that. Cause these, all these images, uh, you know, are some sort of a star Wars stormtrooper or clone trooper, or, you know, uh, with, uh, a machine gun or a rifle or something that, uh, you would see on the battlefield today. Uh, right. and so that's, that's kind of neat. Uh, yeah. so yeah. 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 I think call of duty meets star Wars, right? Yeah. That's yeah. No, there's a lot more, vibe. um, a lot more different images you can get as a sticker that don't appear, appear to be available as like a t-shirt or, uh, uh, you know, or a tumbler out there. So there's a lot of, a lot of variety there. Yeah, there really is. Yeah. There's even mm -hmm. some Tuscan Raider stuff in the stickers, which is yeah. really cool and scout troopers and, you know, the whole nine yards. So I'm glad you pointed that out. So once again, that is phase line co or PL co, uh, but very easy to find. And they say real art, real people. And so once again, if you're interested in any of that, the link for that will definitely be in our show notes. Thanks to Dennis. So speaking of holidays, of course, one holiday that is right around the corner is Halloween. And so Roosevelt's, which we've talked about before on the show, but if you're unfamiliar, Roosevelt's is spelled capital R-S-V-L-T-S, pronounced once again, Roosevelt's. And they have a new Halloween line that they're calling Spooky Season. So this includes new men and ladies cut polos, t-shirts, hats, and even dog bandanas. So they have four different main styles available that they call Carved Wars, Day of the Dark Side, Star Wars Drip, and It's a Treat. 
to try. <laughs> so there you go. So the Carved Wars, as you could probably guess, is on an orange background. And this one has a repeat pattern of lines and lines and lines and lines of Star Wars Stormtrooper jack-o'-lanterns with a few Darth Vader heads interspersed in between. And then the Day of the Dark Side, this is one of those that you really have to look at if you want to see that it's Star Wars. Like the, the Darth Vader heads definitely kind of, you know, stick out as well as, you know, there's a Darth Vader uh, as well as the Boba Fett. Sorry, I was tripping there. Um, but what's cool about this one, it's on a black background and it's got these um, like geodesic sorts of triangles and, you know, it almost looks like a, like a meta tie dye kind of a thing is what it reminds me of in sort of the smoky gray with white pattern and everything like that. So again, I mean, until you get like right up on the person, you're probably not going to see, you know, the, the Star Wars reference, but it also has uh, stormtroopers and then, as they say, more epic imperial imagery on that one. And then the It's a Treat is also on a black background. And this one features, it's a lot more whimsical, of course, as you could probably guess. And it has some fun little Star Wars kind of uh, goodies on it. So, for example, there's one that's got C-3PO's head as a trick-or-treat bucket with mm -hmm. candy pouring out of it. Uh, a sucker that's shaped like the Death Star, like the wrapper itself is shaped like the Death Star. And then there's another one that that shows... Um, a little package that's basically just Yoda and it's like yummy Yoda candy. And then there's one that's got R2D2 with his, com his dome completely off and the candy is both sticking out of his body and out of his dome. So lots of other fun little imagery on there as well. Um, Gummy Jawas. Yeah. <laughs> Jammy Jawas. Yes. <laughs> so many fun things. Definitely. And then the logo drip is exactly what you would think that it would be. So it's kind of that, you know, monster mash kind of a feeling sort of a thing and that greenish take on the famous logo that's literally dripping with spooky style. So they have that one in their hats. Um, so their ball caps and things like that. Um, and those are also available on a couple other products as well. And then the dog bandanas that they have are mainly in that uh, day of the dark side is the one that I saw. Um, but they, they do have some other dog bandanas if you're interested. So they have like the Mandalorian Beskar steel and the chewy dog bandana kind of thing as well. And so, yeah, so there's the, the main ones there. Um, any of those trip your, trip your fancy? Oh, they're all, they're all pretty cool. I like them. Um, you know, again, with them being Halloween themed, I'm not sure that how much use I'd get out of it, but, uh, this, it would be something fun to have for the holiday for certain. Um, mm -hmm. I, I do think the um, logo drip is pretty cool. There's one there, the the high ground polo, which is funny. It's various images of Obi-Wan and Anakin fighting on the Mustafar lava lake, including oh, yeah. like Anakin with all his limbs chopped off as uh, Obi-Wan stands over him. So uh, there's like not much Roosevelt's won't do when it comes to putting out the designs for these. They've uh, really thought these out well. Yeah, they really have. And and again, that high ground one is one that you really kind of have to look at and almost think to yourself, am I seeing what I'm thinking I'm seeing right now? Yeah. <laughs> and yes, yes, you are. And that one's actually a golf tee. So that one's um, a little bit different than the other ones. Most of the other ones are, are button up short sleeved t-shirts and um, they have them in their, their signature, what they call the Cunuflex, which is a very sort of stretchy fabric, but it also wicks away moisture or, you know, sweat, that kind of thing. So they're um, very soft. I've actually seen them at cons and they, they are very, very soft material mm -hmm. and um, they run for $70 a piece on those. And then the, uh, the, they call it the dad hat, which I think is so funny. The logo drip dad hat is 30. The bandanas are 16. And ladies, not to be outdone, you also have your cut as well in all of these, also for $70. And there's even a couple of preschool styles, is what they call it, preschoolers for $39 a piece in each one of those styles as well. So once again, that is at roosevelts.com. And you'll find that under the spooky season, or if you just simply search Star Wars results, Roosevelt's Roosevelt's results you'll definitely find what you're looking for there so just a couple quick other hits here if you're looking for halloween stuff just the usual suspects target definitely has tons and tons of halloween clothing uh, t-shirts sweatshirts baseball uh, inspired type you know three-quarter length shirts 
as well as a lot of other accessories and things for Halloween with basically every kind of character you can think of. Um, they also have decorations, lawn inflatables. Some of them I think are new this year that, that I haven't seen before, but you know, maybe they've been around, but there's one with the, the Mandalorian and Grogu, which is kind of cute. So Grogu's in his little pram. And then the Mandalorian is actually holding a jack-o'-lantern or carved pumpkin. Um, and then they also have the pumpkin push-in kits. So if you want to, you know, paint your, your pumpkin black and then turn it into Darth Vader, they have the little push-ins that you can use for that. And um, yeah, so there's lots and lots of fun stuff there. And then of course, Hot Topic also has uh, tons of things because I mean, Hot Topic and I mean, Hot, Hot Topic, Topic is kind of spooky all year round, let's face it, but they're especially spooky this time of year. And then Box Lunch also has a ton of things as well. So um, if you pick anything up, you'll have to let us know. And I do want to dispel one rumor that was going around on Instagram that was saying that Disney is no longer carrying Accolade merchandise. That is not true. So I don't know if that person put that out there. I saw it a couple of times actually as clickbait or what, but of course I hurried up and went to the Disney store website and there's plenty of Acolyte things to choose from. So don't believe everything you hear people. You can still get your Acolyte fix over on the Disney store as well as several other places as well. So anything else you want to add Dennis before we wrap it up? No, and just to confirm what you were saying, I just looked at the, disneystore.com and typed in the acolyte and yeah there's stuff there so oh, yeah. there's plenty there's plenty mm -hmm. so again i don't know if people do that as clickbait but once again you can't believe everything you see in here on the internet kids you know so just keep that one in mind <laughs> all right so thank you all for joining us for episode 783 of podcast stardust and this episode of world between worlds for september of 2024 we hope you've enjoyed this episode, and if so, please make sure to subscribe to Podcast Stardust on your podcaster of choice. I'd also like to remind you that you can find all episodes of the podcast on RetroZap.com, and RetroZap is also home to several other great podcasts covering every, everything from the MCU, DC, Dune, Star Trek, and a whole lot more. And as always, we greatly appreciate a five-star rating and reviews on whatever podcatcher you use. And especially on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, YouTube Music, we will take them everywhere and we greatly appreciate that. And we'd love it if you would also share the show and your favorite episodes on social media as well. And speaking of that, Dennis, what are those social media contacts one more time? All right. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Podcast Stardust. We also have a Pinterest page, all of our episodes published to YouTube and YouTube music. So you can get them those, uh, both those ways. You can get in some real live, um, real time discussion with us over on the RetroZap Discord. Just go to RetroZap.com and uh, you can find links on how to get there. And I do also have a link in the show notes for that. And then if you're looking for some uh, podcast artist swag, head over to TeePublic. You can find our t-shirt stickers and other t-shirt stickers and other apparel. And then uh, we are cont continuing to run our promotional uh, work with Saber Masters. Right now, they have the Ultimate Lightsaber 2.0 that is available two for the price of one at $199. But use our code uh, Stardust at checkout, and you can save an additional $10 off of that. Jay, what do you got going on in cosplay? So this weekend, I will be in Cleveland, Ohio for the Cleveland Gaming Classic at the IX Center from the 20th through the 22nd. Super excited. So I'm going to have my own table with tons of merch. And I'm even going to be participating in a cosplay game show on Sunday. So I cannot wait to share all of the fun. Um, my bio and all the information and all the deets are on the Cleveland Gaming Classic website. So you can check that out as well as all the other amazing cosplayers and special guests that they're going to be having there. The 501st is going to be there. Um, the regiment from the Midwest Garrison of Halo is going to be there as well as well as some really talented cosplayers from Ohio and around the general area. So once again, you can check out all the details on that on that website, or you can go straight to my Instagram, which is at j.snipscosplay, and also check out all the other fun posts that I'm putting up from time to time as well. So with that upcoming, we have the news on this Friday as usual. And then on Monday, we are getting back into the new Lego series, Rebuild the Galaxy. Super excited about that one. So thanks for listening, everyone. Have a great rest of your week. And until next time, may the force of Star Wars fashion and lifestyle be with you.